Radio Geek, and this is yet another video review. I'll be looking at the PC Chips motherboard today. This motherboard is both compatible with a slot 1 or a socket 370 chipset from Intel. And remember, folks, these videos are completely unedited, and these are only my opinions. Okay, what you're looking at here, of course, is the PC Chips M48. LMRT motherboard. This motherboard supports Intel Pentium 3 450 to 500, Pentium 2 from 233 to 450, and Celeron from 266 to 433. And the frequency is at either 70, uh, 66, 75, 83, or 100. And of course, you can have an Intel slot 1 or a socket 370 and this is a baby AT form motherboard as you can see it's very very small this case is tiny but in here it makes the case look very large uh, I'll just look to the back here so you can have a look it comes with a it comes with onboard sound video network interface card as well as a modem so it has pretty much everything you need and with the fact of having the socket 370 and the slot slot A on the same board is kind of impressive however if you look over here you'll notice that if you have an a normal AT case power supply sorry you'll be able to use it with this motherboard so it's basically a motherboard I think for the upgrader and not not for the hardcore user somebody who wants maybe to have a second system as a uh, server and this will be quite adequate um, again uh, fitting almost anything in there if you have any old slot a uh, CPU is kicking around or even a new uh, if you want to put in a new cheap Celeron into the system, uh, you certainly can. Uh, the memory type in this one is actually a 168 pin. This is the new format memory. You've got three bays of memory in this one as well. So, um, quite expandable there. And, of course, this is your hard drive connections or your peripheral connections. And if you look, there is only one PCI and one ISA. Uh, in actuality, there's actually only, really only one you can use. Um, if you notice, I have a PCI, um, actually this is a TV Wonder card, which works fine in this motherboard. And uh, if you notice on the back, you can't fit anything else in. So it's either the ISA or the PCI. So it, this motherboard certainly does not give you a lot of expansion. Um, and you have the floppy controller up here. Something else you should note that there's a lot of cabling in this. For instance, cables going to the printer ports from to the motherboard, um, the COM ports, as well as the network interface card, and as well as the, the modem down here. So it's all like module pieces which are actually connected via cables uh, to the motherboard itself. I'm using actually a 266 Pentium 2 in this system. Uh, it's just used basically as a, as a third system um, with only a hard drive and a CD-ROM drive. So again, it's very cheap uh, cheap to have as a server system. And this motherboard is around anywhere from 115 to maybe $130 Canadian. Uh, so very affordable. Something else to note on this motherboard, there is no PS2 connection for either a mouse, nor a keyboard, or there is no USB connections. Now, you can get USB, of course, if you have a PCI card. Uh, however, that would take up a slot for any other card that you want to add. So you could have USB if you actually added an add-in card being a PCI USB card. 
so that you could get that but just keep in mind this motherboard does not support uh, the newer type of uh, mice and uh, keyboards so you'll have to either get an adapter or you know stick with maybe an older keyboard you have kicking around or maybe an old mouse you have kicking around again most people uh, doing this will be for cheap systems or even an upgrade from existing uh, cases and keyboards and mice one thing I have to say with this motherboard is that it was actually very easy to set up. Um, I figured that having this, you know, socket 370 as well as a slot one in this motherboard, there would be some issues uh, in compatibility maybe between RAM and hard drives and so many cables to plug in. And, uh, you know, even the, the, the ATI PC Wonder card works. So everything worked fine in this motherboard. Uh, very compatible, which is good news. A few little switches you have to change over uh, sets or you have the motherboard to um, to make the switch from the slot 1 to the socket 370 but aside from that it's very very simple just read the manual and you should be able to figure it out with no problems at all let's now actually swing over and have a look at the BIOS of this motherboard so here you have a very standard and basic BIOS configuration, the dates, primary and secondary IE drives. You do have some settings here for boot sequences, like you can actually boot from a CD-ROM drive. You can enable the uh, smart for hard drives. You can, of course, enable the uh, internal cache, the system BIOS, uh, cacheable. And, of course, you can adjust the, um, the SD RAM speed. And, actually, you can even adjust the uh, case for, uh, latency, so either 2 or, or 3. So that's, that's kind of cool. But, aside from that, uh, PCI, plug-and-play setup, pretty standard. Now this is where you can set the frequency. However, this is kind of useless because for overclocking reasons because of the fact there's no voltage adjustments on this motherboard. So this is basically for just getting the right CPU to work at the correct speed it was designed to work at and in the hardware monitor set up you have the temperature of the CPU it's installed and the fan and uh, voltages and so on and so forth. So to sum this review up, <clears throat> I'll be giving this board a 9 out of 10. It's an excellent board for what it does. Uh, replacing or installing a very cheap server. Um, upgrading from an older system would be fantastic, very cheap so it's good at doing what it does best which is basically a basic system but a very cheap upgrade for most people to get systems back online and do it very very cost effectively so again a 9 out of 10 for this PC chips motherboard and uh, another big factor for me is taking any kind of power supply whether it be an ATX or an AT or be a uh, so slot 1 or a socket 370 chip from Intel so very versatile certainly Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds, and this has been another video review. Uh, stay tuned, and next week we will have another video review. Please remember to visit our website at www.thevideogeek.com.